Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hamish, I'm a professional SEO. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make thousands of print-on-demand designs very, very quickly. This is gonna be completely free. Other people sell this knowledge, other people have tools for this, etc., etc. but I'm just gonna be showing you how to do this the good old-fashioned free way. We're gonna be using two tools. We're gonna to be using Google Ads Keyword Planner and we're gonna be using Photopia, both of which are completely free. I'm gonna make a new account again on here just to show people how to do it. So let's just pretend this is my first account and you're gonna be hit by this screen here where it says new campaign. If you just click on switch to expert mode here and this is gonna give us access to probably the most powerful tool on the internet. Click here where it says create an ad without a campaign. Click on yes or no, depending on whether you want to receive emails. And then click on explore your account. We're almost on the most powerful tool in the world. Click on tools and then click on keyword planner. This is the tool that we're going to be using to do most of our research. I'll just click that again because apparently I didn't click it the first time, even though I definitely did. Click on discover new keywords and then change this to English. We're going to be working on English. Um, my entire process is in English, so you can use a different language if you want. I'm going to be using United States and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this list here. You can find this spreadsheet in the description. This is something I've been working on very, very recently for a long, long time. And basically the idea is to just write each of these keywords into this search bar like that. And then we're gonna sort it by trending and then we're just gonna grab these keywords here. I actually, the cat t-shirt one, these two here aren't actually gonna be very good. So we're just gonna delete them and we're gonna be using the other ones instead. The reason the cat one doesn't work is just because they're not text-based designs. And right now I'm looking for text-based designs. So you can see this is working a lot better for text-based. So we're gonna grab them and we're gonna stick them here. And then we're gonna do the next one. So I got shirt. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna type in I got shirt. We're gonna search. And then we are gonna grab them all again. And we're gonna copy them again. And we're gonna go down this time. And we're gonna put them here, like that. And we're gonna go up. It's not the best process, but this is just the way it works. We're gonna try I want shirt. We're gonna see if it gives some good results or whether the results are not that good. As you can see, the results are good. So we're gonna hit them and we're gonna hit copy and we're gonna go down. This is kind of an annoying process now that I'm doing it, but you know, some things are just annoying in life and this is obviously one of them. So I'm gonna do a few more, but um, obviously you can do all of these yourself. I'm just gonna do this last one just so that we've got loads of designs. I'm not gonna be making all these designs in this video most likely, but um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be doing that. I've already got like 300. Okay, so we are not, I don't know how long we're into this video. It seems like we're not even five minutes. Yep, only three minutes and we've already got 400 keywords, okay? The next part of this magic is to uh, sort this by word length. I'm sure there's a way to do this on um, Google Sheets, but I did find this tool here, which is gonna do it for me. And I'll leave a link to this in the description. I'm gonna click short sort lines here. You can see now that it's actually in order of uh, how many words there are. So. Let's get rid of all of that. There we go. Hamish from the editing room here. I forgot to mention that the reason we use this tool to sort it by how many words there are is because a word like this, I ate a 96er, will go on one line of a t-shirt, but a keyword like this, I want adventure in the great wide somewhere, is gonna have to at least go on two lines if not even three lines, okay? Which means you're gonna to need to make different templates on whichever print-on-demand website you're using, whether it's Redbubble or Printful or whatever. It's The reason we're sorting it by this is because you're gonna need different templates depending on how long the words are. So it's good to get them all done at the same time. So these are now in order by length. So the length of the amount of words they are, okay? Another thing we're probably gonna to have to do is actually remove the word shirt. Just be careful because this isn't gonna be 100% effective, but if you find and replace and then replace all shirts, 
that's most of the instances of the shirts gone okay so what do we do now now we're going to be using photopia i'm going to scroll down a little bit because i i want to use i want to basically get a good example where there's lots of um keywords and i can just run through them very very quickly to show you what the process is okay so we'll start let's go down a little bit more let's just start uh here okay so what you want to do is you want to copy the first one and you want to hit new project on photopia you're going to do 4500 by 4 uh, 5400 like that make sure it's transparent and then click create and then you want to hit text click anywhere and you want to paste that and then you want to make this a lot bigger so we'll do 300 pixels and then you just want to make sure it's in the middle and you want to select a good font you can also make this capitals I'm not sure how you would actually do that on um, Photopia necessarily but you might have to rewrite it so I Another thing you could probably do is you could take this list of keywords here and you could change the case using a tool. So um, change to all capital letters tool. Case converter, perfect. So we're just gonna try this. Okay, I want this to be all capitals. Uppercase, that should have worked. I'm guessing it's just worked. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Go away, advert. Okay, so there are a lot of tools that do this kind of stuff for you. You can probably do it on Excel, but I'm just lazy. So I'm gonna be doing here it here instead. There we go, perfect. So it's better to do it all in capitals or all in uh, small letters because it's gonna get confusing if not. Okay, so once you've done the first one, we're just going to right click here, duplicate layer, okay, and then just double click and then do that. So we don't want the word T, unfortunately, the word T is there, so we'll just delete that, perfect. We're going to keep going, I got your back stick, man, we can't do that, so we're going to skip down to Daddy, I want a pony, we're going to duplicate the layer again. Same process, that one's not centered, that one is centered, so it's fine. Let's keep going. Oops. I want to believe T. Okay, so let's just write that one, duplicate layer. I want to, oops, I want to believe. Okay, we want to make sure they're all centered. I don't think they're all centered right now. Yeah, they're not all centered, but I'm not going to go back and do it. Just make sure that it's centered if that's how you want it. I only wanted 10 chickens. We'll stick that in. If you're wondering what I'm doing and why I'm not um, editing, uh, that's too big. When it's too big, you've got two options. Either you can make the text smaller, which is what I'm going to do here, or you can put it on two lines, but I want everything to be on one line. Okay. I want to believe. I just want pizza. I want to leave. I want tofu tonight. Let's just do that one. It's a nice and easy one. Uh, duplicate layer. Double click. Paste. Okay, so let's just do this as an example. That's uh, that's about ten designs. How far into the process are we? Yeah, so it's about. It's gonna. You're gonna be able to make probably about fifty designs to hundred designs an hour, including all of the research and all the SEO that you have to do for this. So it's it's really not a bad process at all. At the end of this, you just want to click File and then Export Layers. You want to get rid of all these options here, and then you just want to export the layers like that. This will take a while because I think it's doing some pretty big process in order to export this. If you're doing a lot of files, it might take some time. I'm really not sure how long it's going to take, but that's it done there. And then we're going to show this in Folder, and then I'm just going to quickly change to Display Capture on OBS. And let's have a quick look at what the end result is. So we're going to extract them. Extract. Okay, perfect. So let's have a look. Perfect. 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 Good. 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 
one, two, three, four, five, six. How many are on Photopia? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think one of them's missing. So what you've got to be careful. Um, there's a couple of things that might go wrong. Uh, it looks like I duplicated a design here. So that's probably what's happened. Yeah, the, the title is the same. So that's probably why they didn't both export. But that's fine. That's just, you know, just be careful with that basically. Make sure that you don't have question marks either or any letters that can't be used in a file name. Uh, just be careful of that. So if there was a question mark here, for example, it wouldn't export the layer properly. But other than that, this is a really, really good way to make free designs en masse. You can see that you can make 50 designs an hour easily, if not 100 designs an hour. So yeah, I really hope this helps, guys. This is not a Redbubble specific video. This is just for every print on demand website. I love this process. This is what I've been trying to perfect recently. This is what I would be doing if I had my own Shopify store or whatever it might be. You can find this in the description. If you want to use this spreadsheet, then click file and then make a copy. And then you have your own copy of this, which is editable and you can just get to work on this guys thanks for watching and i really hope this makes you helps you make some sales and i'll see you soon with some more content peace out